obviously a rough game uh, on this last weekend. How do you guys mentally put that game in the rearview mirror and push on and, and make something of this season? I mean, you know, we got a lot to play for. Wilcox tells us that, you know, every day. So we just got to come out here and, like we said, just get 1% better every day. We can't, you know, dwell on the past. It hurts that it happened, but, you know, we just got to be better, you know, come out here and fix some things and just grind for what we want. So, yeah, it's just coming out here with the mindset that we're getting better each day. Yeah, like uh, how Rick and Coach Wilcox say every day, we still have the same goal. Pac-12 championship, we still want to uh, win every game possible that we can and put us in the best position to succeed and have a, a longer season as we can possible. So, so we really just getting here, getting better, working on what we need to work on. Did you sense at all that uh, the guys have been able to regroup and keep that brotherhood together? Because a lot of times teams can kind of get some dissension when you have a tough loss like that. I mean, uh, after the game, of course, it you know really took a toll on us. The playing right back and stuff was just you know not what we wanted. But overall, we all know we're fighting for the same goal. You know, we're all just trying to you know work to get back to where we need to be and where we know we need to be as a team. So all the guys know that, and it's just like like we said, we just got to keep working. You know, we can't dwell on anything that happens. So we just got to keep you know that mindset that we're just moving forward. Yeah, just uh, moving forward, like Rick said, we're, we know what we could do as a defense and an offensive unit. So uh, at the end of the game, you know, it did hurt us, but at the end of the day, we still just trying to get the farthest we can, like I said before. So, Ricky, you're in your third season now, and uh, you've battled some injuries over the years, but you seem to have been, you know, relatively healthy so far. Has that helped your game a lot? Uh, Yeah, that's been a big thing for me. You know, when I first came in, I didn't play, you know, the COVID year at all. I was dealing with my wrist stuff and a whole bunch of other stuff. But, you know, these past two seasons have been good for me for my development and you know just getting out there and playing the game I love so it's been great to see you know that I'm able to stay healthy and shout out to the strength staff for you know keeping me oiled up and ready to go so yeah. you know that's, that's a big thing for me staying healthy you know I'm trying to do that for the rest of the season and the rest of my time here and is being leaner this season helping you a lot too to stay healthy uh, and I feel like, to play yeah, fast I feel like I'm just you know able to play a little bit faster than I did last year of course and you know I'm just able to stay out there longer without you know having to come out with uh, breaks and all that stuff so that's been another big thing for me to work on and I'm still improving on that as well. So it's just, you know, a constant thing that I got to work on and, you know, it's been good so far. Yeah, I don't know if you got a chance to see this guy move at 355 or whatever he was last year. He moved like he was 310. <laughs> Is that pretty impressive yeah, as a defensive lineman? Yeah, Rick can move. <laughs> yeah. So, Nate, you have had a chance to play all six games as a true freshman, which is pretty impressive. When you committed to Cal, did you see that that was a possibility at all to get on the field that quickly? Oh. Uh, uh, most definitely in a little bit, you know, I thought I could play a couple reps here and there, you know, learn from my older guys, Greg, Brad Johnson, Darius, Ethan, uh, uh, all those guys, etc. Gunner, Jeremiah. So, yeah, I came in knowing I might, you know, get a couple snaps and unfortunately some injuries happened and I just had to step up in a, a role that the team needed me to, so I'm trying my best to fill that. Put on some quick weight too, that's got to help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are like, they feeding you a lot? Yeah, just thanks to the strength staff, just eating and uh, yeah. Yeah. working out every day so yeah. that's also helping a lot too as well yeah, yeah. Um, so you're coming in to play Washington this weekend you're back home after two weeks on the road and the bye week in between it probably seems like forever since you've been here is it, is it good to be back do you, you feel like that's going to give you a little bit of momentum this Saturday definitely yeah uh, just being back at home in front of the crowd and our fans uh, we know that they're hyped for this game they know uh, we got a lot to prove this week and they know that it's possible for us to do it and we know that as well so we're glad to be back here at home yeah, definitely. You know, being at home is always good, you know, just play on, you know, what we're comfortable at. And just, you know, we just we know it's going to be, you know, a grinded out game, a tough game. But, you know, we got some things in place this week, so we're going to be pretty excited for that game. I know the guys are fired up because, you know, you know, at the last week, we want to just get that bad taste out of our mouth and take it out on them. So it's going to be a good week.